Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing what you see on my screen from scratch. So if this is something you want to be able to create, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we have to do is to click on create a design and this time around we are going to be using the 1080 by 1080 dimension, okay, but I already have mine um, open already so there's no need to create a new one, okay, so now let's say, um, what am I been saying, let's just jump straight into it, so the first thing we'll do is to come into element and in element just scroll down a little bit so you find the frames okay then just choose the grid so you can see once you choose the grid it covers the whole canvas so just crop it and try to get half of it okay so once you get this that's all you need okay so after you do that the next thing you're going to do is to press r on the keyboard for rectangle okay so now that we have this we're also going to crop the size of this okay and crop the size of this so we have it this way so you can see the width is 136 and the height is 2527 okay not 2527 so i place it here okay so after i do that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add some text over here okay so i press t on my keyboard and um i should get some interesting text okay so with this i feel the best text for me to use or the best typeface for me to use is Montserrat because Montserrat has a lot of variations okay so I can use them creatively so I search for Montserrat okay and it should load beautifully so I choose the Montserrat you know the regular Montserrat first and um, after I do that I can just select all my text and say take okay a good okay then I position this here, okay, and I crop this out also a little bit. So take a good. So I just want the A and the good to be on the same line. Okay, okay. So something like this. Then I also change the alignment to the left. Okay, so this is what we have. Then I reduce the line spacing over here. Okay, and I position it here. Then what I'm going to do is I duplicate this text and move it down. And all you also have to do is to say vacation or any text at all you want. Okay, so you just don't have to say the exact same thing I'm saying. That you can just be creative in your own creative way. Okay, so I select this. I come to the typeface again and I choose the classic. Okay, and I think this is still um okay so choose this one okay i think it didn't change the first time so you choose the monstrat class the regular monstrat and the vacation would be in the class but i'll make it bold okay so that we can actually see the difference or the contrast should be clear okay okay so you can see what we have at the moment so i move this one here okay so we have something interesting like this i can also reduce uh, so that they are just not too close to each other so now that i have this what i can do next is to add some dummy text okay so here is my dummy text okay and what i'm going to do is i would reduce the size of this okay because we would use it i will be picking some text from here okay so when i duplicate it and bring it here and i just change the alignment also to the left because we started using the left alignment so we want to make sure um you know, we are being consistent with that okay so now that i have it i would okay do this so you can see what i am doing and i you can see the text is very small so i select or and i increase the size of our text okay so this is what we have at the moment and what I'm going to do is I will drop this down a little bit, press L on your keyboard for a line and reduce the height. How would you even call this? So I say reduce the length of the line. Yeah, I'll just reduce the length of the line. If you know the correct um, thing, just let me know in the comment section. 
then we change the color to yellow okay so this is what we have at the moment so now that we have that we are going to add uh, let's say there are some steps people are supposed to follow okay for this um, process so we are going to just take this vacation duplicate it and move it to the bottom okay so this is going to be zero one then i would reduce it this way okay and i would increase the size a little bit and depending on what the first step is that's what we are going to let people um do okay so with my let's see the first step is just lawyer i'm going to be using dummy text for this okay so just pardon me okay and i choose both of them because they are too big okay then i can change this to a gray okay awesome so lorem then i can choose this and also bring it to the bottom okay and if we want to make our design creative what we can do is we can add some um some infographics or some icons okay so what, what i can do is i can just trim it this way and bring it here okay then we come here and i can choose flight so depending on what you want to make this design for you have to use you know graphics that um send the message okay so that's what you only have to do so i'll choose maybe this one then i'll come into my element again but this time around i'm going into the shapes okay the line and shapes or all we can do is to just search for circle because we want to use um you know the outline circle a circle is just the outline so that's what uh, we want to use so you can see we have one over here so once you select it it's already even looking good okay so try to get them you know try to make sure they are centered well so in this case i want to select both of them okay so i select the two of them and i reduce the size okay then i move it here and reduce it more okay then i just drop it down also then i think this text is too much so i would also you know clear my text and i have it this way you can see what we have at the moment okay then i select this and i would maybe this is step two okay so depending on the height of your design you can have so many steps as you wish okay so i just want to have step one and step two then the next thing i'm going to do also for this is to um make sure it's arranged nicely and you also have to make sure they are all aligned okay so i move this one also then i change the graphic over here or the icon i have over here okay so it's like i can use um location so in this case it will give me the location pin you, you get it uh -huh. so we select this and we reduce the size of it okay so after you do that then you position it inside the circle okay now in this case what i'm going to do is we can make both the outline circle and the icon have the same color or you can make sure that um i you can let it be black the color of the icon but i would want to use a gray for it okay so that at least it's matching with the text over here okay so you can see what i have i select all of them and i move them to the top a little bit then i select this and duplicate it bring it here okay and i increase the size then i can change the color also to gray you get it so this is how it's going to look at the moment okay so select all and align them nicely okay so this is what we have and i think okay we'll still need this text so i'll leave it here so now what i want you to do is select this text okay and you can say travel or anything at all you want to say so t-r-a-v-e-l and i would change the rotation okay so i'll make it i think one okay this is 90 degrees i was about to say 180 
90 degrees and I would, you know, trim it to make it neat. Then we increase the size of it. So you can see how this is looking right now. Then we select this and position it somewhere here. Then I change the color of my text to white and send it to the back. It should be behind the shape we have over here. And I know right now it's not too visible, but don't worry. With the next step or with the next thing you're going to do will help it come visible. So I come into photos and in photos, I'm going to search for travel. Okay, so after you do that, you can just use any image at all you want. So if I'm to use this lady over here, you can see how it's looking now. So I can see this travel. And just to make sure it's having the travel vibe, I come to edit image. And in edit image, we can come to filters. Okay, so we have summer. Okay, so that it punches up your, um, you know, your image to give it a real um, vibe. Okay. Then we take this off. Okay, so you can see how our design is looking. So over here, maybe if there's something I want to, some something small I want to say, I can just do that. So I bring my text here and I just, you know, edit my text a little bit. And I'm using a dummy text because if I'm to think about what I want to say, it's going to take a very long time. Okay, but in your case, you can actually pause the video and, um, you know, come up with something creative okay so 90 degrees again and i would position it here then we increase the size also okay okay so nice one select all and increase the size more okay and i crop it okay so you can see what we are doing then i make it centered so that i'm able to at least center it here okay so now that i do that i can change the color also to white then we have something like this so this is what you can do and the next thing you can also do is to add your icon or your logo sorry not icon but to add your logo and some social media stuff also at the bottom over here so if that's also something you want me to do then stay tuned let me just do that okay so you come to element okay and in element we are going to search for facebook okay so search for facebook then it should load okay so i select the facebook first then you know the magic recommendations happen then i come to see all i select twitter and let me just center it well so that's easier to group everything then i would also select um instagram okay so instagram also can be here so after i do that i select all of them and ungroup my image and i reduce the size of it okay then we bring it to the bottom over here and you can see it's still looking too big and i don't like it when it's looking too big so i'll reduce it more then we you know space them out so you can space them out anyhow it shouldn't be equal like it shouldn't be perfect then select all of them come to position and choose horizontal and tidy up okay so you can see how it's looking right now then i select my facebook come to color change it to white instagram change it to white okay so this is what we also have at the bottom and you can also add some cool shapes okay so we can search for let's say triangle yeah you can search for triangle and um we are just trying to see if we find okay we have some outlined um triangle over here which we can use but i think i've seen something like arrow before and it was looking very 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 interesting and i think that would be something cool to come to use okay so i select um the graphics beautiful then i you know rotate it to the top somewhere here i think one 90 degrees not 180 i don't know why i keep saying um 180 today i i don't know maybe it's my maybe i'm expecting some 180 something it could be anything who knows okay so then i position it here okay so this is just something simple i'm trying to do to add some you know creative juices to my design so i can make a yellow 
you know, I can put position it at the top over here, depending on where I want to position it. So this is what I want to um, leave you with. I want you to be able to add your logo to this design and send it to me via my email. I will check it out and I'll make a video to review your designs. Another thing I also want to ask you for is I want you to share this video or any of my videos to any Canva designer you think might find my videos helpful. The name is Benjamin. I would want to hear from you in the comment section and if there's any video you want me to make just let me know in the comment section. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. I would see you in my next video.